Lou here with 405 Photo, and today I'm out at Thunder Valley Raceway. There's a few cars out here doing some testing for a race tonight. I'm gonna cover the practice passes, kind of show you guys my mindset while I'm uh, adjusting my settings and what kind of shot I'm trying to get. All right, so that was Murder Nova making a test hit uh, here before race night. I was in the middle of taking photos of Ryan Martin's new engine setup. So I had to run over here and grab some shots of Murder Nova making this pass. The key to shooting movement is to make sure that you have your camera set up to servo mode instead of one shot. So what I did is I customized my buttons on my camera so that now this button here is switches between one shot and servo back and forth. I'm out here with Ryan for the purpose of taking new photos of the new setup you got going yep. on, right? What have you guys done that's different from the turbo setup you had in the red car? You know, when I got this car, I don't know, six, seven years, eight years ago, this car was a purpose-built 10-5 car. And so being that it was a purpose-built 10-5 car, it had the motor really far forward in the chassis. That's good for 10-5 stuff. You want 57, 58% on the nose. Some guys are running even a little bit heavier, and that's not what you want for the street. And we knew it going into it. I was always able to make it work. We manipulated it. We moved the turbos back behind the motor instead of in front of the motor, and that gave us the, a, a better weight percentage front to back than what would, nor, normal cars would have with the motor so far forward. So we made it work, right? We, did, we were decently successful. But I always said, man, if I get a brake, I want to move the motor back in the car. So we had a break after we did all of our crazy Nebraska filming and all that type of stuff. And I knew we had three or four months there. And I said, you know what? I called my buddy Ryan at RK and I said, hey, let's chop this thing up and move the motor. I wanted to go 12 inches back. I set the motor back by me because I know that's going to create a more 50-50 when it comes to, you know, like a 50-50 weight percentage. And we could only go, I think we went nine and a half inches. And the reason why is because it got into... Um, where my feet would sit in the car. So we moved it back nine and a half inches. While I was there, I had the opportunity to sell both the 481Xs that I had. And you guys are gonna get to see those run soon because one of our buddies bought those. And I wanted to get into a Hemi platform. So called up the guys at Proline, got a uh, 564 cubic inch Hemi. Had been talking with Procharger for the last couple of years. If you guys have, you know, the, you guys that pay attention to my YouTube know that I put a Procharger on the gray car back. And it was, a lot of people don't know this, but that was all the way back in, um, December of 2019. So was it turbo or pro charger when you revealed it at uh, PRI? It, it, it was twin turbo 481X. Right about when we revealed it, about a month later, here comes the weight rules to MPK. 
Well, I just won the championship with the other car. <laughs> Bam, here's another 100 pounds for me. Yeah. Before you know it, there was a four, three or 400 pound split between my heavy twin turbo setup with the tire that I wanted to run with a pro charge combination. And I was already breaking rear ends all the time, breaking transmissions. In my opinion, it's unsafe to run cars that heavy. I said, you know what, now's the best time. I'm already chopping the car up. Yeah. Let's make a pro charger fit this thing. It helps having both cars kind of run similar setups, it right? It is. So my initial thing was, Okay, I'm putting a Hemi in a, in a Pro Charger in the gray car. That's the way I'm gonna run that one. I'm gonna run 481Xs in this one. You know, we run the guts out of this thing and we did for a long time and the 481 was a, was a badass piece. But the problem was sharing parts. If I wanted to be competitive and I wanted to not miss races and all that, I really need, you know, you, you, as much as we race, as many shows as we're on, as much as we go street, as much as we go street stuff, as much as we go to racetracks and everything, and you need spares for spares, you know? Yeah, that's and, good. and all of a sudden it just made more economic sense. I've done well with the twin turbo setup. I want to do something different. I mean, oh, I was almost, well, you've done it very this, well. I, I was almost bored with <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, you okay. know, we just, yeah, we, yeah. We, 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 we challenged ourselves quite a bit. And there's a lot of guys that pushed us, you know, chief pushed us on the street to be better. And I think we all kind of grew. We all kind of got faster as a group when we did that. And then there's MPK stuff, you know, I mean, if it, it you know, it seemed like I had a new rival every year. Yeah. And Javi needed more to do. And Javi obviously. needs more to do. He Actually, this combination is less <laughs> maintenance. Oh no, Javi. And so Javi has more to do. So he's going to have a lot more free time now. I did it for him, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but hey, it shakes a little more. So we joke because we're like, Put Loctite on everything and go go over the bolts <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. yeah, we literally Loctite the doors on that sometimes. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if you did. <laughs> no, but the I'll Loctite my ass to the, the seat. The, the bolts <laughs> rattle everywhere on that thing. It's just um, it's just it's like riding a bolt. It's totally different. No, I I love the combination. I like that it's different. We're getting a handle on it. I think pretty good. I don't have. We were just saying I don't have that arsenal, that crazy arsenal of tunes that I had for my twin turbo setup to right. where we you, go to Okima. You Okeema. ran that for a long time, so you kind of knew where to put it. 200 different tunes for that room. Yeah. And, and I have nothing, Yeah. and that's why I'm here today. But the reason why we're doing it is because I don't have a tune library right now. And for me, that is a list of tunes that I can pick a number that I know what goes to the racetrack. Yeah. Then I can take it to the street and go, hey, this is what I'm gonna try. Yeah. If it don't take this, I can go slower. Or you, if it does take it, I can go faster. Gotcha, you so know? you're here kind of developing a baseline. You're, yes. you're competing out there. You don't yeah. really have time to start from the ground up. That's exactly right, we don't. Yeah. I mean, listen, I we, we talked about this and it was a very calculated decision, but the, when it comes down to it, we knew this could be a struggling season for, the, for us. Right. Because this is a new combination and we weren't gonna get a lot of test time because we barely got the car done. And we, and we took the chance. First hit today was pretty good. Uh, might be too hot for the road tonight okay. that we're gonna be racing on. So we're gonna try to slow it down a bit. We'll see what happens. OG Outlaw Show is filming here again. Yes. And we're back at yes. Okima, I back guess, at right? Okima. Yes. So same road, are we moving the road? Or? Well, okay, so, you know, things change, permits change, uh, ideas change, blah, blah, blah. But right now, we're back to spending filming 10 episodes of the 405 show. We've got the first two are at Okima, which is the original road that we always raced on and we could go fast there. Right. I mean, that was a known thing. A lot of people didn't want to come race us there because we knew the road and we knew how to go fast. But none, none of us have been on it in two years. <laughs> yeah. And it's dirty, it's dusty, the real, the rubber's pulling up, and no, literally there has been zero drag races on that thing for two years. I do, so, I, I took my Honda Accord out there and made a couple passes. And it probably so. spun the tires. But yeah. it's cool to have the OGs back, you know, in the yeah. 405 racing. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it wasn't easy when you guys were gone for weeks and months at a time. It was difficult. You know? And I, I, you know, COVID changed a lot of things for a lot of us. Yeah. Who would have thought that COVID was gonna make us film in Nebraska for a year? <laughs> then it makes sense, yeah. you know? But yeah. no, it's a good feeling to be back. It just reminds me of what we used to do two years ago. Yeah. Sean's out here, Dave's out here, yeah. you know, and, and we're all testing and, and everybody's doing the same thing. And, and people have been beating this track up all week. You know, I know yeah. Chief was here last night. Uh, Damon was here the night before. Yeah, I think Lutz was out here too. Lutz yeah. was out here too, yeah. So everybody's been out here trying to get their baselines, trying to get their head wrapped around the game. And it's gonna show tonight who's got it, who doesn't. For this next pass that Ryan's gonna do, I'm gonna switch from my 35 millimeter uh, that I had on for the more close up shots and detail shots of the car. I'm gonna throw my 85 Sigma on there, use that to get some launching shots, get a cool three quarter shot for the die cast packaging that we'll hopefully be designing. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me!
That was the first pass I've seen uh, Ryan make in the new, the new setup he's got. Uh, it's loud as <laughs> For these photos, I was trying to get more of a three-quarter angled shot of it launching. It's a pretty standard shot in drag racing. For these, I was at F2, one eight thousand of a second at 100 ISO. Right, so one thing I'm realizing is that I'm a little out of practice. I haven't shot. Oh yeah. I haven't shot drag racing, man, in quite a while now. I didn't get out and do much in 2020. Uh, we've done some stuff for the Farm Trick and Asian show, but nothing at the speed that these guys are moving. I need to kick the rust off and uh, uh, get my shit together so I can get some shots like I'm used to getting. How many passes have you guys had on this new setup actually? Uh, new setup, we got five, 10, 15, 16, <laughs> 17 hits on this motor and the whole new combo, like chassis work, everything like that. How'd that pass look to you just now? That, he told me he was gonna try to slow it down early, yeah. pick it up in the middle. Well, it went faster down low, but it picked up in the middle, so did what he said it was going to do, just not the down low part. So typically after a pass like that, what do you what do you look for? Uh, what do you adjust? Usually lash the valves, take yep. spark plugs, make sure all the tips are still on there. You never know. Right. Uh, fuel it up, training cooler's going. Colton's got the training cooler, the battery charger, and the fan going on the training so we can get the training cool tip down. Uh, mark it, make sure I don't lose count of the rods. You know, yep. some people lose count of the rods and then they end up on the ground, which is yep. never a good thing. So, <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, I'll let you get to it. Yep. Thanks, man. So Dave's being sneaky and pulling up to the line. This is another car that just went Pro Charger that I have not gotten any photos of or even seen run. So I'll see what I can get. shot these cars in a while so it's good to get uh, a launching shot uh, and this one looks really cool my settings for that were 1 over 8,000 uh, f18 at uh, ISO 100 and also before Dave even got started I was already shooting him down back before he got into the water box got him doing a burnout and then while he was getting ready to, to pull up to the line and launch he's got new wheels and new pro charger set up so i'm getting the zoomies coming out i'm shooting the the front tires he's got new chrome wheels on it so try and maximize your time and constantly shoot because there's never just one shot to get all right ryan thanks for the invite out here brother no uh, problem bro we'll uh hopefully get your new die cast packaging done and yeah. uh updated we'll see you tonight yeah i appreciate you hell yeah very much good to see you i've seen you a while always brother thanks okay, thanks for coming out see you brother oh for sure dude. <laughs> See you, Abby. See you, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. Thanks, man.